So, tabletop exercises. Essential or really just playing games? Creating and having incident management and business continuity plans is really important and in fact bestows a certain amount of maturity upon the organisation that has them versus those that don't. However, something that is often neglected is actually testing them or carrying out tabletop exercises. Now in many cases, companies will test them in real life scenarios. And don't forget that just because it's a real life scenario doesn't mean that you haven't tested it. You should be documenting everything as you would in any incident and you can use that as a test to see if there's any improvements to be made. However, sometimes you need to test parts of your plan that may not have been utilised during any recent incident. Tabletop exercises are very useful for this. There's a variety of offerings out there that range from simply handing out pieces of paper to far more complex and actually far more thorough approaches that involve using separate networks, uh, dedicated workstations, phones, etc. and actually having real people in a back room calling through, sending emails, sending social media messages, updating newspapers, etc. But the key thing here is that Actually, many people will avoid it because it's really difficult to organise. You're trying to get some of the very top people in your company to try and attend. These are the people who are very, very time poor. However, tenacity is worthwhile. Booking well in advance. Using a third party will often help because nobody wants to waste the time and money of a third party. They'd much often rather waste the time of an internal resource. But once you carry out a test like this, and when I have seen these firsthand, universally senior management and leadership absolutely love what they've seen and what they've been involved in. They feel like they have engaged in an exercise that will bring real value to the organisation. So next time you're thinking about carrying out some kind of tabletop exercise, don't shy away from it. Really think about how you can make this work if you need third party help, don't shy away from that and making sure you're involving people at the very highest level of the organisation wherever possible. But only, of course, if they're actually involved in your incident management plan.